Hey Anik fam, welcome back to the second part of this mini series on beatboxing in a band. I hope you've had a good time practicing your very simple beat, the B, the K, the T. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to enhance them a little bit, maybe add a few more frills and spills to sort of just make that groove a little more tasteful. Now, very importantly, I found that the best way to become a better beatboxer or a more assured or confident beatboxer is really to try out as many sounds as you can. I mean, there are sounds everywhere. I'm hearing birds chirping right now. And when I hear that, I go, for example, you know, and there's so many different drum sounds that you can hear on music and that kind of thing. I say, take it, try it, see what fits, and you'll never know. You might be formulating the next beat that's all the rage. But today, I wanna look at trying to do different things to the kick drum sound. So we have the usual tummy sort of kick drum, nice sort of strength. What I wanna do is add a bit of a splash on top of that. So what we're gonna do is sort of mix a bit of a cymbal-like sound in front of it. And it goes like psh, psh, psh. You see? So what you're doing is a normal B, but afterwards you're blowing the rest of the sound out by going shh. So psh, psh. And how does that fit in our groove? So we've got What's really nice about that is it makes a sort of like crash sound at the end of a phrase. So you've got like a whole phrase going and you want to end it. That's one cool idea. Another thing is instead of just making a normal on your kick drum, you could sort of roll your lips around and make it sound a little more So you know how babies go, bleep, 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 bleep. I've got a one year old niece now who loves to make this bleep, 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 bleep sound. That's what you're doing. And instead of slow-mo, you're speeding it up and going And now you put that in front of your kick and it sounds like Why don't you try that and mess around with that? Now, a really cool beat that we love here in South Africa that seems to be making a few waves worldwide is what I like to call the house beat that goes. Now you remember the rock beat is very similar, the. And you've got the same sounds, but there's a little tweak with the snare and the hi-hat relationship. And that's the sound. The T-S-I-K-A. Or I like to put an N in front of it and call my friend Ntsika, 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 right? So what we're doing there is we're doing the same ts, but just adding the k afterwards. And it's not, it's not the same old inward snare that I like to do. It's more like a k outward snare. So you've got Ntsika, Ntsika. Try that. Ntsika, Ntsika. Or you can think of yourself as a seeker with a T in front. And to add that to this new beat that we want to try today, the house beat, it goes very slowly. Or add another snare at the end. That kind of thing. Now that we've changed the kick drum a bit, Let's try changing up the snare drum a bit. Now in the last video, we spoke about how there were various ways of making the snare drum sound. You have the inward snare that we use. We have the outward snare. And we also have what I want to introduce now, the PF snare that goes like, you know that sound of really smacking the snare drum. Let's try this one together. I find the snare difficult. I'm still working on it, and it might take a while for you. Or you might find this easier than the inward case snare. 
It's really about what you discover and what your lips and what your body likes to do. But with this one, what we're doing is we're trying to load a whole lot of pressure in the P before the sound gets out. And we're going to use our diaphragm once again to blow out all the air. And try to find like a sweet spot in your lips. Some guy goes from the side. That doesn't work for me. I like to go around the middle and tuck in my bottom lip. Okay, now let's add this to our rock beat from last time. So instead of you're looking at this. You want to try that? Now I'm going to show you a few beats that are possible with the sounds that we've learned. And it's going to be simple. I'm not going to show you a step by step of it. I'm just going to demonstrate. And so you can see how versatile these various sounds are. Okay, let's start with the We Will Rock You beat. You see that kind of thing? The next thing, we're going to do a bit of a jazz swing sort of feel. And then I'm also going to show you a reggae beat, you know, with that very, very strong groove of the How about a drum and bass? Up to this point, you've heard me beatbox kind of acoustically, as though you'd be sitting with me in the same room. But when we perform or record, we're going to be singing and beatboxing out of microphones. So I wanted to show you how that sounds, just to give you a picture of the difference. So you remember the Here it is with a microphone. Okay, now it's your turn. We've learned some simple beats. We've embellished these simple beats. Now take them home, see what you can do with it, pull them apart, pull them together, find different inspiration, and let's see what you can come up with. Hey, why don't you send us a Facebook inbox with a quick video showing what kind of progress you've made. It'll be really cool to hear what you've done. It'll be great to swap some more ideas. Thanks so much, guys. Keep beatboxing.